We've already talked about space tourism before. Virgin Galactic, for example, sells tickets to space for $450,000. Too expensive for you? Then you could pay $50,000 to the company Worldview and enjoy even more interesting features. The capsule with the space tourists goes up on a helium balloon, so it takes much longer to fly than Virgin Galactic. Is it a drawback? No, it's a cool feature. Because the capsules will be launched from the Grand Canyon, the Great Barrier Reef, and other beautiful places. The capsule's capacity is eight tourists and two crew members, with an ascent altitude of about 100,000 feet. The team honestly admits that this is more a stratospheric trip than a space flight, but it's cheaper, and the first launch pads are planned to open as early as 2024. This concept was presented at the Michelin Design Challenge Showcase 2011. It appeared because the authors decided to show that electric cars still have room to grow. As a result, this is not just a vehicle, but also a purification station. The car inhales dirty air, filters it, and exhales clean air. According to UN statistics for 2021, more than 90% of the planet's inhabitants breathe air polluted beyond the norm. So, the concept is very relevant, even though more than 10 years have passed since its inception. And the design is interesting. It reminds us of insects, while the legs of the car change position depending on the driving mode. The concept car is about 13 feet long and about 5 feet wide. Do you think these vehicles will hit the streets one day? The public is no longer surprised by foldable smartphones. But what about a foldable car? The Audi Vista concept is exactly that. The car has no roof, and it transforms into a kind of Segway, if necessary, allowing you to enjoy increased maneuverability and riding while standing. The author describes his idea in just three words. Fun, freedom, and style. The steering simplified as much as possible thanks to a controller that works as the steering wheel and the gearbox. It works with electricity, and the car adapts to the lifestyle of its owner, so it's suitable both for daily journeys around the city and for going out of town. Sadly, there's not much space for luggage, but at least you can choose from several colors. Next is a concept from Germany, which impresses us with its simplicity. The team explains that the main idea is to test how self-sufficient a combination of a glass dome and a wind turbine will be. They plan to build a test version to collect data. After that, it's possible that this will become a commercial project. Some of the obvious applications are the creation of greenhouses, as well as upgrading swimming pools. You may have already heard about Elon Musk's Hyperloop, which is a system of pods traveling faster than high-speed trains. For example, 746 miles can actually be covered in just an hour, so the transportation system will reach a new level. And this is how it works. The pods hang on a magnetic cushion and move practically in a vacuum, which allows them to reach faster speeds. As it turns out, Musk's ideas are pretty contagious. Inspired by his vision, a group of Dutch students came up with this project. According to them, it's a climate-neutral and scalable transportation system that can reach speeds of over 621 miles per hour. It'd be possible to get from Amsterdam to Paris in less than 30 minutes. It sounds great. As fast as an airplane and as comfortable as a train, the designers write. The system is powered by solar energy, among other things, and partners include Siemens, Shell, and HP. Next is an interesting concept from Lazzarini Design, a company that our most faithful viewers already know. Lazzarini Design, by the way, also creates projects for the aerospace industry. So, Today, we got a little flying saucer in our video. It's called the Identified Flying Object. As you see, its creators are probably fans of the X-Files and have a great sense of humor. 
The designers offer us an electric vehicle for vertical takeoff and landing, with a top speed of about 120 miles per hour. The cabin is 6.6 .6 feet in diameter, and you can fly for about an hour. In the event of an emergency, the passenger pod separates from the hull and glides down on parachutes, and according to some reviews, the studio was looking for investors interested in the prototype. Lack of energy is a huge problem in many countries. For example, in France, the number of trains during the winter season might be reduced, and the temperature in some public buildings will be lowered. So, French experts are working hard on new energy solutions, and they're making some progress. On the screen, you can see a French mixed energy system that combines wind and solar power. The system's virtually silent, and under ideal conditions, it yields up to 140 kilowatt hours of energy per 11 square feet in a year. For example, if these systems were installed all over the Rubai commune, they would cover about 39% of its energy consumption. And the team has also developed advanced software to decide where it would be most profitable to install these systems. This giant floating construction, bigger than the Colosseum, is another masterpiece by Lazzarini Design. This is practically a floating continent, ready to accommodate up to 60,000 people. There are hotels, parks, shopping malls, and even airports, and the place itself is designed as an enormous turtle. If it were built today, it would be the largest structure on the planet. The turtle is 1,804 feet long and 2,001 feet wide. Powered by nine 16,800 horsepower HTS electric motors, the turtle has an expected cruising speed of about 5.8 miles per hour. And the fins are there for a reason. They help catch the energy of the waves. The authors invite everyone to invest in the project. However, it's necessary to collect about $8 billion, and the construction will take about eight years. What do you imagine when you hear the phrase, car of the future? There are a lot of options. Even in old movies like The Fifth Element, directors have shown their vision of the future. Today, our selection opens with a concept from an American design studio. The highlight of the concept is a technology that allows the driver to pair with the car by using a special connector. After that, the technology reads the driver's preferences and provides them with new driving options. For example, the driver can control the car through the use of tactile sensations. A three-dimensional hologram acts as a dashboard, which can be adjusted to your liking. In addition, the driver's capsule can be integrated into other vehicles, such as a buggy or an airplane. The Comac ARJ-21 is the first jet airliner designed entirely in China. The task was to create an airplane for regional flights with approximately 75 to 100 passengers, and the designers succeeded. Today, the ARJ-21 is used by the flagship Chinese carrier Air China. Depending on the version, it has a range of up to 2,050 miles and a capacity of up to 105 passengers. This modified ARJ-21 even won the International Red Dot Design Award. It's a medical airplane that can be easily modified for different tasks thanks to modular equipment. Patient data is displayed through the built-in operating system, and the lighting and colors are chosen to keep the patient calm and confident in the professionalism of the rescue. If there was life on Mars, where would people live? The authors of the Mars Habitat Project offer an answer to this question. It was created as part of a NASA competition to find interesting ideas for a Martian home using 3D printing technology. And the experts liked it so much that it made it into the top 10. The idea behind Mars Habitat is to first take robots to the red planet. They use Martian regolith to make an external shell. Later, people would arrive and use flexible inflatable shells to create living and working spaces. Ideas like this sound like science fiction, but 
Talk of colonizing Mars has been going on for a long time. Elon Musk wants to be there by 2029. ArtStation is both a gallery and a platform to share and discover works of artists, illustrators, and designers. Some reviews also call it a museum of digital art, and indeed you can find a lot of interesting things on ArtStation. As today's selection is about solutions of the future, we want to show you an unusual vehicle from a designer from Slovakia. His concepts combine streamlined design and uncommon solutions. This model would have a 120 horsepower engine and a top speed of 140 miles per hour. Last, we have a hydrogen-powered yacht. According to a review, this idea is aimed at efficient and environmentally friendly travel. Designed to withstand 11.5 foot waves, it has a top speed of about 249 miles per hour and a seating capacity of six people. It's 120 feet long and is capable of operating in several modes. It can fly like a ground effect vehicle or sail like an ordinary ship. According to the author, the idea combines the livability of a ship and convenience of an aeroplane, and also adds the flavor of a supercar to water adventures.